What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I have a beat on, but that's not really what we're going to be reviewing today. It is all about the base. So today, we're going to be doing a little wear test and a little review on the brand new Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Foundation. I'm in the shade R230, so of course, this one does come in 40 shades, so that is really good for everybody out there that's looking for a foundation, and this shade range is actually pretty good, and Makeup Forever never really disappoints with their foundation shade range. So we're going to be testing this out, not for 24 hours. I am not that crazy, and my skin will hate me forever for it. I'm going to be testing out for as long as possible. I'm not exactly sure how long I will be testing it out for, but we will give you guys my final thoughts, what the real tea is, does it work, did it blend, whatever for my dry skin, because I know it is a matte finish. So if you want to see what I think of this foundation, then keep on watching. So now, of course, before we get started with the foundation, I'm going to go in with a little bit of primer. I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer today because I really hate when matte foundations look make me look even drier than I am. Even though they are matte, I get that. But at the same time, I also want to look hydrated and moisturized. So it's a nice, healthy base for this. Zoom you guys in just a little bit closer just so you can actually see when I apply this foundation. So right now we are going to apply the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in the shade R230 which is I'm guessing like an ivory. But really quickly before we put this on I'm going to give you guys like a little rundown of what it claims to do and all that shit. A breathable full coverage foundation with a lifelike matte finish that bends and breathes with skin for up to 24 hour wear. I will not be wearing it for 24 hours, but I'm going to wear it for as long as I can. It says it's for normal, dry, combination, and oily skin, so it's a big claim because, you know, us dry skin types, matte does not always look great. So it says this creamy, blendable texture balances complexion for zero shine. It never cakes, flakes, or fades, so skin appears natural and vibrant throughout the day. This is the matte liquid foundation for a generation who understands their skin's needs and demands high performance from their products. So what I'm going to do, like I always do, I'm going to squeeze a little bit out on the back of my hand. I always squeeze out more than I should whenever I use one that's a squeeze, not a pump. But I think that should be plenty for now. I have to squeeze out just a little bit more, but so far looking at it, it definitely looks like skin. It is a little bit dry right here in the mouth area. That's just my driest spot. But it does look pretty smooth everywhere else. Like it looks smoother than most matte foundations that I've tried recently. Squeeze out just a little bit more and we're just gonna, you know, do the forehead, the nose, and everywhere else. I'm not scared to show you guys my skin up close, but if you can look and see, it does look actually pretty smooth. Right here, it looks a little bit drier just because that's my driest spot on my face. And I'm really not scared to show you guys my skin up close just because I try to take care of it as much as possible. But I am a little bit on the drier side. My forehead actually looks still pretty good. My face just looks really good. I think this actually looks really smooth so far. Of course, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape to conceal my under eyes and everywhere around that really quick. I'm going to film this part with you guys because I want to see how the foundation layers with other products. So I will say full coverage. It was very full coverage. I did not have to apply a second coating anywhere. I pretty much just went in with one layer and it went from there. As I'm in the process of setting and baking my face using the Laura Mercier setting powder. Now, so far, it like I said, it still looks pretty good. It's looking really smooth. After setting it, of course, I think it'll look like really, really matte and ready to go. But at the same time, the matte that I got was actually really nice because it wasn't 
too matte, but it wasn't cakey. It looks really smooth so far. I'm actually loving me a full coverage beat because you know me, I am very extra and I love full coverage. So I'm really excited about this foundation. I'm really hoping that it will last me for a while. I know that right now it is 11:20, so I've only been wearing this foundation for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna be contouring with an OG fave, the Hoola bronzer from Benefit, just because I really love this stuff so now we're just going to contour the face and bronze it up so far like i said the powder is looking pretty good so the foundation still looks pretty snatched it is really hot right here because of how many lights i have on me at all times when i'm doing my videos very hot so it better not start to separate because of the sweat because it has not gotten a chance to really develop on my skin yet so we'll have to wait and see face is almost done we have some really intense highlight going on thanks to dose of colors again but um who wants a really quick little eye tutorial I'm going to use a Thirsty palette today, and I'm going to go in with the shade Kumquat right here for my little crease action. Now, really quickly with my finger, I'm going to take the shade Snatched. So I did my brows, and of course I added some Dose of Colors I Love Seta E Soulmate Highlight. I'm going to go back in with Kumquat really quick for the lower lash line. And now really quick, I'm going to go in with Quench for my inner corner. So there's that quick little tutorial I'll throw on some mascara and a clear gloss just because I wanted to go with a clear gloss little moment. We like a little quick makeup moment, don't we? So I am now about to go run to work. Um, it is time for me to leave. And so now I will be back later on to give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation, how long it wears, etc. I will probably do one check-in in between just because I didn't do that in the last video that I did. So, of course, I'll give you guys a check-in and then, of course, I will give you guys my final thoughts on how long I wore it for and etc. So, I'll probably see you in about four hours or so. Okay, guys. So, check-in number one. It is now past 2.20, so less than two... No. It has now been three hours since applying the foundation and so far it looks pretty good still my skin is just looking glowing because of course my highlighter but everywhere looks really really good it is really fucking hot in florida right now i'm running some errands for work but it's really fucking hot right now like i am sweating like nobody's business but you know what my makeup is staying on pretty good it's not separating it feels really nice still and right on my forehead which is where i sweat the most it's still looking pretty fresh so i mean it's only been about three hours now so i'll be checking in again after I get done with work and then after that I'll be probably checking in when I get done with school so I'll see you guys soon hello you guys I am back it is now what time is it 4 30 so it's been a little over five hours now my face is looking a little shiny of course my highlight but right here is looking a little bit shiny you know whatever um i touched up a little bit my highlight because it was coming off a little bit and it is so hot that my brow was like coming right off i was like mm -mm, not doing that so i fixed that it is now a lot better and anyways other than that i have not done any touch-ups i'm not doing any touch-ups with powder or anything like that because i really want to see how this foundation will wear so i'm about to go run to school as you can see from my scrubs i'm going to run to school for a few hours and then after that i will give you guys my final thoughts i'm going to try to wear this foundation for at least eight hours i'm trying to hope for that so anyways i'm going to see you guys very soon so now it is a little bit past seven o'clock it's been on for eight hours now and i do not wear foundation for a very long time so i'm gonna say right now if you're new to my channel or anything like that i will review foundations and i will put them to the test but sometimes it can go up to eight hours maybe a little longer than that but i don't wear foundation for 24 hours so of course i'm gonna give you as long as a wear time as i can give you so and that's been over eight hours i'm back home back in my studio my little beauty room aka my bedroom i'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation now i will say my eyeshadow did do a little bit of some glitter fallout right now but that's okay i did not use a sticky base so you know what that was my fault but i'm gonna say right now just looking at my skin around my nose around my mouth and around my jaw and around my forehead it looks 
very good. Like it looks like it is the same as when I put it on right around my nose and right around my mouth area. It's a little bit dry right here. And it's a little bit um, cracked up right in here. It's not cracked up, but like my nose is very rough in texture right here. So it did show up a little bit of texture right there. But other than that, everywhere else, it looks smooth. It is up close. As you can see from my forehead, it looks still pretty good. Right around my mouth area, it does look a little bit like, um, it's dry right in here, right in here, but it actually looks really good. It doesn't look like it's like cracked or anything like that. There's no cracking, no fading, no smudging, no smearing, no nothing like that, nothing crazy, and it looks still pretty good. You can see the glitter fall out right there, and of course, right around my nose, it actually still looks really good, even right around my piercings, which is right here is when all my foundation kind of separates a little bit. No doubt in my mind that this foundation definitely would last a little bit longer if I were to wear it for a little longer of a time, but from just a first impression standpoint on how it feels, and how it wore it feels like nothing on the skin it looks like a second skin so that's the one thing a lot of people have been saying it feels like a second skin and it looks like a second skin so it looks really good it blended beautifully on the face when I used a hydrating primer it definitely looked better and it definitely is a matte finish without it looking like a cracky dry cakey matte finish so it looks really beautiful and I will say I do recommend this foundation. I am the type of person that when I find a foundation that I like the way it looks, the way it wears, the way it feels, etc. After even 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20 hours, then I really do find something that I really love. And I'm very picky when it comes to foundations, so I am happy to say that I do recommend this foundation just because it's such a nice formulation. I love a matte foundation that's meant for all skin types, especially dry skin and I have pretty damn dehydrated dry skin and I really do recommend this foundation. I feel like it wore amazingly, it looks great, it did not separate, did not fade, it did not smear away, it did not sweat away after this Florida heat and it still looks pretty damn flawless after over eight hours. So I am very happy to say that I like this foundation. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the very near future. Love you, bye.